Hello Cloud Gurus, welcome back to another AWS This Week, where we find out what goodies AWS have in store for us from the past seven days. This week, AWS hosted their third annual AWS Storage Day, a free virtual event hosted on their Twitch channel with lots of announcements, insights, and content related to AWS storage services. Let's check out the headlines. Amazon FSx for NetApp ONTAP is now generally available. A new Amazon S3 feature called multi-region access points were launched. And Amazon Elastic File System introduces intelligent tiering. Stay tuned to find out all of the details. It's AWS This Week with me, Nick Trantafilou. Kicking it off this week, AWS have announced the general availability of Amazon FSx for NetApp on tap. This is a storage server that allows customers to launch and run complete, fully managed on tap file systems in the cloud for the very first time. If you've never heard of it before, ONTAP is NetApp's file system technology that has traditionally powered on-premises network attached storage. Amazon FSx for NetApp ONTAP provides all the popular features, performance and APIs of ONTAP file systems with the benefits of a fully managed AWS service. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to check out the link in the resources section below. Next up, Amazon S3 multi-region access points have been launched. These accelerate performance by up to 60% when accessing data sets that are replicated across multiple AWS regions. This service is based on AWS Global Accelerator, and it considers factors such as network congestion and the location of the requesting application to dynamically write your requests over the AWS network to the lowest latency copy of your data. This automatically takes advantage of AWS's global infrastructure while allowing you to maintain a simple architecture for your application. It also provides just a single endpoint for you to access your data, so you can build multi-region applications with the same architecture used for single region solutions. This is very cool. Applications running on-premises can also access the multi-region access points via AWS private link and there's a new S3 management console experience to go along with it. Be sure to check it out. Finally this week, Amazon Elastic File System has introduced intelligent tiering to automatically optimize storage costs. It's a new capability that makes it easy to save money across your shared file storage, even when your access patterns change. It uses lifecycle management to monitor the access patterns of your workload, and it's designed to automatically transition files that aren't accessed for the duration of the lifecycle policy to a cheaper storage class. This takes advantage of the cheaper tiers that can be up to 92% lower cost than EFS standard pricing. And if your patterns change, the intelligent tiering is designed to move the files back to the performance optimized storage class for you too. So it's not just a one-way thing. And it's available right now in all AWS regions where EFS is available. All right, I hope you enjoyed that quick wrap up of AWS Storage Day. I'll put another link in the resources to cover absolutely everything from the day. And you can check out the AWS Twitch channel as well. All right, thanks for watching. Keeping awesome cloud gurus and we'll see you next time.